Savvy. What's poppin' world? Your girl Kiki here, and today we're gonna explore some crazy natural wonders out in the American Southwest. We're heading to Arizona for an adventure through slot canyons, wavy rock formations, and more scenic eye candy than you can handle. Let's dive in. Yo, let's start by talking about this place called Antelope Canyon. It's located on Navajo lands near a small town called Lechi. Antelope is actually made up of six different slot canyon sections that are all part of the Lake Powell Navajo Tribal Park managed by the Navajo Nation. The two main areas you'll want to hit are Upper Antelope Canyon, nicknamed The Crack, and Lower Antelope Canyon, aka The Corkscrew. Then there's Rattlesnake, Owl, Mountain Sheep, and Canyon X, which make up the whole zone. Upper Antelope is the more popular spot since you can just stroll right in at ground level. And get this, rays of sunlight pour down through openings at the top, making the whole canyon glow in these wild colors. Summertime is prime for catching that light beam action. Lower Antelope requires a bit more effort with ladders and stairs to climb down into the deeper, narrower canyon. But photographers love it for those twisting, sculpted walls lit up in the morning and late afternoon sun. No matter which part you visit though, the rule is you can only go with an official Navajo guide. The reason? Flash floods fam. Rains from even miles away can suddenly send powerful floods ripping through these canyons with no warning. So you gotta listen to the tribe members who know what's up. All right, y'all, let me break down this next crazy natural formation called the Wave. This spot is located out in Arizona near the Utah border. And let me tell you, it's a whole vibe. So the Wave is basically these smooth, wavy sandstone ridges that look like they're straight out of a Dr. Seuss book. The colors are just wild. Reds, pinks, oranges, all blending together in these trippy patterns. It was formed millions of years ago by wind erosion, carving out the soft sandstone in these unique curved shapes. Now here's the catch. To even get a chance to see the wave up close, you gotta enter a permit lottery run by the Bureau of Land Management. They only allow like 64 people per day to hike out there to protect the fragile formation. So the odds of scoring a permit, especially in peak seasons like spring and fall, are pretty slim. This place is mega popular, especially with the European tourists who have seen it in some dope nature documentaries. If you do manage to snag a permit though, get ready for an adventure fam. There's no marked trails leading to the wave, you gotta navigate across the open desert for around three miles, dealing with sand dunes, scorching heat and harsh winds trying to find this hidden gem. Definitely not for the faint of heart. But when you finally lay eyes on the wave, ooh baby, it's worth every step. The sandstone ribbing looks unreal, like some alien landscape flowing in waves across the desert floor. Photographers go crazy trying to capture it in that perfect midday light when the whole thing seems to glow. If you time it right after a rain, you might even see little pools with bizarre shrimp creatures vibing in them. So in summary, the wave is a wild, exclusive, incredibly scenic spot that'll make you feel like you traveled to another planet, as long as you can handle trekking across the rugged Arizona desert to find it first. Who's up for that adventure? Let me know what other Southwest scenery you want me to break down next. I'll be here all day hyping up the most jaw-dropping natural attractions. We hope you enjoyed every moment and found some inspiration for your next adventure. So if you've had fun or learned anything, do us a favor like comment, subscribe, share, that stuff really helps out the channel. We really need your help in building our community. We release polls, memes, and fun stuff at 9 a.m. Eastern every day. You can find them on our community tab, a short video at 2.15 p.m. daily, and a longer type of video every other day. We'd love to hear from you. Leave us a hello in the comments below. Also, you can check out the super links we have in the description for Savvy Travel Gear to help keep you safe on your next journey. Or if you prefer, you could simply buy me a coffee with the QR code on the screen or with the link in the description below. We are so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Remember to be kind, be gentle with yourself, and know that you are appreciated. Peace.